guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me anything you wanted to know about me, whether that be marine biology related, life related, or anything you wanted to ask me. As you can tell, I don't have makeup on, which is very, very rare because I always like to film my videos with makeup. And I'm also drinking some chocolate milk out of my orca mug. I have to be really careful because this is new carpet and if I spill, my mom's gonna kill me. I'm gonna give you guys this minute to pause and go get yourself a drink or a snack and let's dive in. Question number one is how is school going? So if you guys are living under a rock then you wouldn't know this but every college and pretty much every school in the continental United States is shut down because of the coronavirus. My college is no different. My college has been online for the past month and a half so it's been pretty good. I actually really love the whole online aspect of college. I really love just working at my own pace. So I actually signed up for my sister college and they do online classes. So I will be taking pre-calc over the summer online there. So that's great. And I plan on doing all of my chem and math classes online there from now on. So I don't have to drive to school every single day because it is like 40 miles there and back. But to answer the question, school is going pretty well. Obviously tests are gonna be easier because you have all of the answers at your fingertips. But my teachers have been pretty chill about it, except my chemistry teacher. My chemistry teacher has literally piled on the work because he knows all of us are working together on labs. So he's like, oh, you're working together on labs? I'm gonna give you twice the work and make it twice as hard, so. Thank you, Professor Frecken. The numero dos is, are you still currently working? <laughs> no. Both of my jobs are closed right now. My daycare does have a few kids, but not enough to the point where my boss needs me there. And my whale watching job is closed indefinitely. They don't know when they're gonna open back up. And even when they do open back up, I only work there when it's super busy. So I don't know when I'm gonna go back to work. My boss said he'll let me know, so. I'm crossing my fingers it's soon because I miss work, I miss my daycare kids, I miss the ocean, and I'm just bored. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Have you guys seen that TikTok? It's pretty freaking funny. Next question is, what have you been doing to pass the time? So I have obviously been doing YouTube and I want to thank you guys for almost 500 subscribers. I never thought that I would get to that. When I started my channel back up at the beginning of quarantine, I think I had maybe 200 subscribers and now I'm so close to 500. I think right now I have like 491. I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so much. I love when you guys DM me and comment on my pictures. I think just yesterday I had like three or four people DM me asking about advice and just telling me that they love my videos and it honestly almost moved me to tears and I'm so glad that I can be an outlet for you guys to watch for entertainment and for marine biology information. Other than YouTube, I have been reading, obviously doing school, I've been doing a lot of hiking and working out. I am currently getting into shape. I've also been watching a lot of Netflix, I've been bullet journaling and I've, I've kept pretty occupied. The next question is how did you figure out you want to work with marine mammals? So I knew from a very, very young age that I wanted to work with marine mammals. I knew probably by like age 10 and I'm 20 now. So for the past decade, I've known that I wanted to work with marine mammals. I hate to say this, but SeaWorld really grew my passion for marine mammals, specifically killer whales, but then I found the whale watching community and that just solidified my idea of working with wild marine mammals. I hate to say this, but SeaWorld actually made me want to work with marine mammals. The next question is, do you miss going to SeaWorld? Ooh, this is tea. If you guys are new to my channel and just found my channel, I used to be obsessed with SeaWorld. If you look back on my previous videos, they were almost all SeaWorld related. I would vlog there, I would talk about all of my experiences. I paid $1,500 to go to camp last summer. Like I was fully invested in working at SeaWorld. And I miss the memories that I made. Like I miss my camp friends so, so much. I cannot wait for quarantine to be over, which 
California said they were gonna start opening back up, but then they shut down the beaches. Once quarantine is over, I'm gonna have my friend Sydney come down or I'm gonna go visit her in Santa Barbara. But I really miss the good times that I had at SeaWorld. I don't necessarily miss going there, but I really miss the feeling of being so happy at camp. If that makes sense, um, like I said, I miss my camp friends and I just miss I miss that era. I miss the old SeaWorld and going to the old SeaWorld because during the Believe in One Ocean days and the Blue Horizon days, SeaWorld was at its prime. Question number whatever, I think this is six, is do you have any siblings? I have a younger brother, his name is Nicholas, he lives right across that wall there. And I also have two half siblings. However, I met my half brother when he was eight months old and I have never met my half sister. Um, I don't see my dad, that's a personal choice that I made. And that's that. So I really only have one little brother who I have a relationship with. Next question is what kind of music do you listen to? I listen to pretty much everything except like the rap stuff that people listen to nowadays. I love country music. My shirt is a country music lyric, but I love country music. I've seen three or four country music artists in person, but my favorite country artist is Jason Aldean. You can't argue that he is one of the best. But other than country, I really, really like pop. I like a little bit of rap. It totally depends on the artist. Love Disney music. Love the SeaWorld soundtrack, which totally contradicts what I said in another previous question, but I still listen to the SeaWorld soundtracks. But my go-to music is definitely country. The next question is, what is your go-to fast food restaurant? This changes all the time. It totally depends on my mood sometimes. Sometimes I'm craving McDonald's and I'm like, why the hell am I craving fake food at McDonald's? Other times I'm craving In-N-Out. If you don't have In-N-Out in your state, I am very, very sorry. It is so good, nothing compares. Sometimes I want Panda Express. Sometimes I want Del Taco. Sometimes I want Taco Bell. It all depends on my mood and what I'm craving, but if I had to pick one, it would definitely be In-N-Out. I could always go for a double-double. That actually sounds really good. The next question is, what is your favorite marine mammal, shark, and fish? So my favorite marine mammal is obviously a killer whale. I have said this in multiple videos. My favorite shark is a zebra shark or a horn shark. Horn sharks are so freaking cute. And my favorite fish, I'm not a fish person. I love my marine mammals and I love my sharks. Never been one to love fish, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be either a blue tang or a clownfish. Pretty basic, am I right? The next question is, would you recommend field school? I made a whole video about field school, so if you are having any doubts about going to field school, whether it be the cost or if it's gonna be worth it or not, I highly recommend you check it out. I will put a card right up here or whatever side the card will be on, and you can also check it out on my channel. I loved my time at field school. If I could afford it to go back and do it again, I totally, totally would, but like I said, I'm out of both of my jobs right now, so that is not an option this this year, but I totally love it. The people there are so incredibly friendly. I follow Jake on Instagram, love his Instagram stories, but I totally recommend it if you are looking for field work experience in marine biology. They have sperm whales. I would love to do sperm whale research, but it's like $3,500 and they don't offer a scholarship and it's just not gonna happen this year. They have, I believe, tropical marine research and shark research. I did their shark research program. Like I said, go check it out on my channel. But long story short, I highly, highly recommend field school. It is a great program. The next question is how do you balance work, school, YouTube, and social life? So YouTube doesn't really take up too much of my time. I film once or twice a week and then I edit. I can film and edit a whole video in a span of like four hours. So it's really not that time consuming and plus I got nothing better to do, I'm stuck inside. Back when I actually did have to balance going to school, going to work, social life, and stuff like that, I had a very hard time doing it. I suck at time management and I really wanna get better at that, but I was at school from 
On Mondays, I was at school like eight hours from like nine to five. Um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I was out at 11 a.m. So that made it a lot easier. And then two Thursdays, I was at school from 8 to 3.30, so another long day. Like I said, um, two out of four of my school days were pretty long, so I did not work those days, which was really nice. I could just go home, do homework, relax, hang out with my family, my friends, or my boyfriend. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would go straight from school to work, where I could do a lot of my homework, but I couldn't do a lot of my homework at the same time. At night, I do homework and then just hang out with my boyfriend or my friends and my family. And the last question I will be answering in this Q&A is, what are your current favorite TV shows? So like I said in one of my earlier questions, I've been watching a lot of Netflix during quarantine, and my all-time favorite show is Criminal Minds. I could talk about Criminal Minds and Spencer Reed all day long. I love that man so much. He's definitely my favorite actor, but I've been watching Criminal Minds. I loved Outer Banks. I recommend Outer Banks to anyone. If you guys don't know what Outer Banks is about, it's about these poor guys called the Pogues and the rich guys called the Kooks and they all live on this island in I believe North or South Carolina. I'm pretty sure it's North Carolina and it's called Outer Banks and there are lots of twists and turns and I thought it was going to be like a family show and then some stuff happened and I was like this is not a family show. Let's see what other shows have I watched? My boyfriend and I watched Too Hot to Handle. It is a reality TV show about these people. They audition and they basically I hope I don't have any younger viewers, but they take they basically take the horniest people that audition for the show and they put them on this island and they think they're gonna have like this great sex filled summer when in reality they can't have any sexual contact. They can't kiss, they can't have sex, they can't do like oral sex or anything like that. And every time they do, they get money taken out of their prize fund and the prize fund starts at a hundred thousand dollars I'm not gonna spoil it it's pretty funny me and Casey spent the entire show just making fun of the cast but it's a really great show if you're looking for a laugh another great show is Grey's Anatomy I watched up until season 13 but then it got kind of old once my favorite character died it was over for me I so that happened in season 11 I'm not gonna spoil it but once they died, it was I, I got so bored with it. And my last favorite TV show is The Fosters. I have watched The Fosters literally four times through and it's really, really good. I lied, I have another favorite show and it is H2O, Just Add Water. Just like The Fosters, I have watched that like four or five times through since I was a kid. It's about these girls who when they touch water, they're mermaids. Perfect marine biology show, but how many shows did I list? five, however many I listed, those are my all-time favorite shows. Those are all the questions I will be answering in today's Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are interested in participating in further Q&As, go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's always linked down below and it is always at the end of my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!